Hey guys, my name is Luke and I am a celiac and type 1 diabetic. I believe that all celiacs should be able to live a happy life. So this file has created a list of beautiful gluten-free recipes for you to enjoy. Today we'll be, we will be making beautiful gluten-free scones. I hope you enjoy. So we're going to want to start off by adding 8 ounces of gluten-free self-raising flour to our mixing bowl. And then we're going to add 2 ounces of caster sugar and 2 ounces of butter or margarine. So we're going to rub this together with our fingertips until it resembles breadcrumbs. One final little rub and that should be good. So now that your mixture looks like this, we're going to add an eighth of a pint of milk a bit at a time. So we're going to start off with about that much and we're going to rub this in, just like a paddle. And then the next little bit. At this stage, if you wanted, you could add some fruit like some sultanas or currants or raisins or even some nuts if you'd like, but I rather mine plain. Now the final bit of milk. And then just mix this together until it forms a dough. So now that your dough looks a bit like this, you're going to dump it out onto your work surface. Now that that's done, you're just going to want to form it into a ball of dough. Make sure it's nice and thick because you want good thick scones, but they will rise in the oven anyways. So we're going to pat we're going to pat it out like that and now we're going to cut out our scones with our cutter that you have floured. And so you're going to just go like this and then you should have a, you should have a baking sheet lined with greaseproof paper or any grease like that and you're going to put it onto your tray and it should make about three scones. So once you've put your scones out onto your baking tray, you're going to brush it with a beaten egg. Like so. That what, what, what this will do is it will make your scones golden like you see in cafes and restaurants. So now once your scones are brushed with the, with the egg, we're going to pop it in the oven at 180 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. So, while our scones are baking, we're going to whip up a small carton of heavy cream and until it forms soft peaks. This will take about one and a half minutes. Bubbles will start to form at this stage. As you can see, the cream is starting to thicken, but it's not there yet, so we have to keep mixing. Form soft peaks that means it's done so we're going to wait for our scones to bake now and then we will assemble so now that our scones are cooked and cooled we're going to top them off with some whipped cream and jam so first you're going to add your jam and then spread that out with your palette knife and now you're going to top it off with our beautiful freshly whipped cream and spread it out a little. So now we're going to top it off with our top layer of scone. So that's it for this video guys. If you liked it, comment, subscribe, like and all that. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video.